In this video, we're going to look at what other generator scripts are available for download and to use with your Ruby on Rails application. So if we go, and I just ran the command generate without any arguments or anything with it, it gives us the help and it tells us what generators are currently installed. And there's several types. There's Ruby gems, which are actually Ruby programs that are installed. And then we have built-in ones that are built into Rails and come with Rails. Now there are more generators available out there on on the internet uh, some are shown at the ruby on rails website and there's other gems that are available via the gem search dash r so let's first take a look at the website the rails website that has some available generators and and you should look at this often if you're interested in these generators and some of them are actually replacements for generator scripts that are in there already. For example, this Trestle, it's a drop-in replacement for the scaffold generator. It says that it produces scaffolding that's more production quality code. There's different security model ones. Here's some different login generator generators. If we scroll down here, there's a tab navigation bar. Another type of search generator. There's already one search generator built in, and we'll look at that in a second. Just We're not actually going to run it, but we'll look at the help of it to see what it does. This is just another type. You can actually have graphics. You can have Ruby on Rails applications that produce graphics using something called RMagic, and you'll have to look around a little bit to get RMagic installed, but once you do, you'll be able to generate graphics on the fly with it. You can model your database create tables in DB Designer. Look at that. There's another type of authentication generator, PayPal generator. So there's lots of different generators. An interesting one here is an Ajax scaffold. Instead of the simple scaffold that was shown in previous videos, here you have a Web 2.0 or Ajaxified, if you want to call it that, scaffolding for adding, editing, deleting records from a list. It's very nice looking, looks pretty straightforward to use. So there's lots of different generators available just via that website. If we do the gem search dash r generator, we'll see what's available out there. Again, this is remotely getting the gems, and in this case we're just kind of kind of search gems at uh, rubyforge.org to see what's available out there. So there we have a number of gems that come up and doing all sorts of things. Some of them are duplicates for what we looked at, but others are completely different types of things. So if you want different scripts to help you develop your applications, your Ruby on Rails web applications, there's certainly a number of generators available out there. I wanted to look at one specific one real quick that's a additional one that comes with Ruby on Rails currently and that's the search generate script so this one generates a search engine that can be added to any Rails application so if we go down to the example we they very simply just use search and search for the method in class name and it generates the model that we need or we give it the model, I guess, that we need, and it also generates controller code for us and views for us, so we can have a search integrated into our application. That's just one example. It's already installed. To update it, we do a gem install, and it generates pretty straightforward little files for us to manipulate and get a search. And this is pretty typical of how these additional generate scripts work pretty straightforward way.